Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I think my last video took too long to reach its conclusion based on my YouTube analytics. It seemed like people only watched about 10 minutes or so and got tired of it. So I've decided to make a very brief video that are my conclusions only. And then if you want to know how I reach those conclusions, you can go back to my previous video, which is linked in the description. My first conclusion is that only the three heads and contrary feathers five through eight are explicitly placed in the last days. My second conclusion is that Ezra's eagle corresponds to the fourth beast in Daniel 7 and to both the legs of iron and the feet of iron and clay in Daniel 2. And based on this interpretation, I identify the 12 feathers as the 12 Caesars of Rome. Note that the second Caesar had the longest reign, which was more than twice as long as any other Caesar except for the third one. And I, I identify contrary feathers one through four, but I will admit that I'm not very certain on these. They seem to be plausible, but I don't feel very confident on those. Uh, contrary Feather 5, I identify as Prussia, which is the Second Reich of Germany under Kaiser Wilhelm. Contrary Feather 6 is Nazi Germany, the Third Reich under Adolf Hitler. Uh, the first head to awaken to stop these two contrary feathers, I identify as Britain. The second and third heads that awaken to assist Britain are Russia and the United States, respectively. I believe that Russia is the head on the right and the United States is the head on the left. Um, after Germany is stopped twice in World War I and World War II, it is stated that the first head suddenly appeared no more. I feel this represents what happened after World War II when the Bretton Woods Agreement made the US dollar the world reserve currency and Britain ceased to be a global superpower. Since I made my video, another viewer pointed out that the British Empire continued to collapse as various possessions gained independence, and also the Suez Crisis was probably the actual end of the British Empire as a global superpower. So I'd like to thank uh, Niamond, Niamond, I hope I pronounced that correctly, for pointing this out to me. Uh, this leaves the right and left heads and contrary feathers seven and eight. The left head falls by the sword of the right head. This might be the defeat of the USSR at the end of the Cold War, but I don't believe this is the case. Russia is currently the presiding power of the BRICS plus nations and more, co more countries are joining BRICS all the time and many more are also applying for membership. Uh, the right head and contrary feathers seven and eight are all that remain of the eagle when the lion comes. And I believe the lion is either Jesus Christ or the one mighty and strong or possibly some other end time servant that will have power and authority to rebuke the eagle. Um, the right head falls by the sword after the lion appears, but we don't have a lot of details on that. Uh, contrary feathers seven and eight then set themselves up to rule in a small country, which is full of tumult. I believe contrary feather seven is probably Israel and eight is possibly Palestine, possibly the Antichrist, possibly something else. So again, I'm less confident on eight. And finally, the body and the remains of the eagle are burnt in the fire, which is reminiscent of the burning of the fourth beast in Daniel 7. For anyone new to Ezra's eagle, this is probably completely confusing. And for those familiar with it, I suspect that most of this is completely different uh, interpretation than anything that you've heard before. Uh, I encourage you to return and watch the video in the description if you want to see how I reached these conclusions. And thank you so much for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this video of value. 
and I have no plans to monetize the channel. I just simply want to get the word out to as many people as possible, and that really helps. Also, as a final note, in either Michael B. Rush's interpretation or my own, one thing that we're in agreement on, and then that is that we are getting down to the very end of the end times. And I encourage everyone to read Second Esdras chapter 11 and 12 and receive your own answers. Uh, we need to quickly repent and do what we can to prepare the world for the very end times and the second coming. Thanks again and have a great day.